Hey guys, Janelle at 213 here. I almost said something else. And um, just to be clear, this series thing is a sneak peek on the video that I'm going to make, like, probably today if I have time, like, when my, when, um, it's all charged and stuff. But, um, anyways, oh, here comes my dog. Yay, cool. Yeah. Cool. There's Handy Pool. She's a cute little beagle. Okay, so anyways, I need your help to sign on something. Next week, or possibly this week, if maybe my mom contributes a little bit, or if I have like enough money or something, I will get Gloom and Bloom Cleo. And, um, just gonna move this for a sec. And, um, the reason I'm getting, ow, ow, hand was just yawning, and I put my hand by her mouth, and she kind of bit me. Yeah. She's super adorable. Anyways, and um, and the reason I'm getting her, and I didn't get her like before, because she's been like in my target pretty much since the Gloom Boom line came out, at least as far as I'm concerned, and um, is because recently I have been very interested in Egypt, ancient Egypt, Egyptian queens, and well, she kind of is an Egyptian queen. The reason I'm getting Gloom and Bloom is because, well, first off, the only other one is like $50 on Amazon. I'm not going to pay that much for one monster. I don't I mean, you could get like three for that price. But anyways, and, um, you know, like three economy dolls or something. But anyways, and, um, because she looks very Egyptian, like with the necklace thing. And, um, like maybe if I straightened her bangs and, um, I was just wondering if I should cut her hair. I am... Contemplating on cutting her hair to like a bob or kind of like a shoulder length thing and kind of like straightening the bangs so they're not like really curly like Rochelle's like curly and kind of short because that looks really ridiculous stupid actually or at least in my opinion like on a doll especially for like Cleo and um I'm already gonna like remove her headbands and, and probably her earrings maybe just some with like gold earrings or something possibly silver or some other jib. But I was just wondering if I should cut her hair to like a bob or shoulder length like you usually see Egyptian queens with. Because I want to make her look very, very Egyptian. It's like one reason why I made this stu Egyptian style bed. But like, you know, I don't want to just like chop it all off and then like everyone not like it and I might not end up liking it. So I was just wondering for your opinion. Sorry this video is so long, but anyways, thank you very much for watching and bye.